welcome to life journey information show as you see I'm outside and I'm gonna be dealing with a subject of bewitched what is bewitched I'm so glad you asked because in the book of Galatians the third chapter where Paul have told the, 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 the Galatian church like I'm telling the church today that the church is full of witches the churches is full of witches so in Galatian chapter 3 where Paul has told the Galatian he say that you foolish Galatian who have bewitched you before who eyes Jesus Christ was publicly uh, portrayed as crucified this is only the thing I want to find to find out from you do you receive the spirit by the work of the law or by hearing with faith are you so foolish having begun by the spirit are you now begun perfect in the flesh do you suffer so many things in vain if indeed it was in vain so Paul was saying that how did you receive the Holy Ghost do you see the Holy Ghost by the working of your flesh or do you receive the Holy Ghost by the hearing of faith it's amazing that witches are in the church as I mentioned before we think that a witch is a person who wear a big hat and they they wearing black black on the black makeup and black uh, fingernail polish or black lipstick no my friend a black a, a witch is a person that's ordinary in the church they sit and they even though they might shout but they are not shouting because of the goodness of you. They are shouting because they're trying to blend in. So we got to be very careful of being children of God. Yes, they're in the pulpit too. Yes, we got some pastors that are, are, are wizard, my friend. They are warlock. I don't know a lot of people don't like the word warlock, but a warlock is basically a male, a male witch. Now, in those days, People are telling me that witches are female. Yes, witches are female. Because in the beginning, when when Saul killed all the witches off, and and Moses say, "I suffer not a witch to live." Glory to God. He meant that witches were not allowed to live in those times. Some people say, "I suffer not a prisoner to live," but it's basically, "I suffer not a witch to live." So when Paul was telling Galatians, who have put a spell on you, that you should not obey the truth. Because what is the truth? When Jesus Christ told Pilate, everyone that heareth my word, heareth the truth. And the truth is the word of God, whether we believe it or not, whether we trying to show, show code it or not, the truth is the word of God. I don't care if you have you believe uh, mythology or, or Socrates or Pluto, glory to God, the truth is the word of God. And the, the Bible say, Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by me. But there's a lot of people that are witched in the church. The churches are full of witches. Yes, the churches are full of witches because witches can, is also deacons and tre and treasurer. Glory, yes, they are, my friend. And we will be very careful. The witches, I'm gonna tell you what the witches does. A witches basically they love to cook. They are great cookers in the church. Yes, my friend. They are, are also miracle workers in the church. They are also they love uh, medicine. They love uh, herbal medicine, my friend. So they love to stargaze. They are stargazers. They are horoscope readers. So I'm talking about witches. So Paul say, who have bewitched you from not obeying the truth? For who eyes Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified. We saw that Jesus Christ died on the cross. Glory to God. When Jesus Christ died on the cross, he went to the sepulchre and he and he came out of the sepulchre and then he, he was witnessed by thousands of witnesses. And then Jesus Christ went up into glory. Hey, glory to God with a story. And he had told the disciples, wait unto Jerusalem until you've been endowed power for on high. It's amazing that we gotta have the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is the only way you can discern the witches. 
Because if you don't have the Holy Ghost, you're going to be fooled, duped, and bamboozled by the witches. Don't never take a food. And even though you take a food from a witch, my friend, the Bible say nothing, no deadly thing shall harm us. Because we are of God, little children. Because great is he that's in you than he that's in the world. So I'm telling, put notice on those that go on Facebook. There's our witches on Facebook. But don't be afraid of the witches. Because the witches have no power against a child of God. We are armed and dangerous because we have the word of God. The word of God is power. Glory to God. That's why he told in Ephesians, Put on the whole armor of God. Then you can fight against the wild of the devil. The devil include the witches. Put on the helmet of salvation. The shield, which is the, which is the shield of faith. So when, when fiery dots come your way, you can block him. And the helmet of salvation, he glory to God. And your feet shall with preparation of gospel. And your sword, glory to God, which is the word of God. And your, and your, your belt. Loin with truth. So, glory to God. So, we are armed and dangerous. And the only way you can become defeated if you're not armed and dangerous. So, we as Christians, we got to put on the whole armor of God. In Galatians 6, chapter, glory to God, verse 1 through 10. We got to put it on, my friend, because if you don't put it on, we're going to be witched by the witches. We're going to be fooled by the witches. And they come to church. Hey, glory to God. They sing the songs of Zion. Hey, glory to God. They shout. Hey, glory. They, they act in ordinary, in ordinary way just like us. But the Bible say, glory to God, we must try the spirit by the spirit but see whether they be of God. Because there are many false prophets have entered into the world. So I'm telling you, bewitched. Have you been bewitched? There's a lot of people that, 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 that came in the church. Yes, came up in the church, and now they are bamboozled. Now they're going after many things that's not, not of God. Glory to God. Hinduism crept in the church. If people are doing yoga, they have, yoganism have crept in the church. Pokemon have crept in the church. We are Christian doing Pokemon. You fall as a, 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 a thing that is a game. But it's not really a game, my friend. You following the ghost and goblin of Hinduism. And I'm telling you, if you are bewitched, you are going every contrary thing that I'm saying. I'm saying that Hinduism crept in the church. People are doing yoga now in the church. They have a mat under their arm. No, they have the Bible under their arm and reading the word, meditate in it. It's, it's not a devil work. The devil worked like this, my friend. He, he should, you should be carrying a Bible under your arm. You carry a mat under your arm. And you are chanting unknown languages. He telling you to clear your mind for what? What are you clearing your mind for? Are you clearing your mind because you want Jesus to come in? Or are you clearing your mind for demons to come in? It's a question. And the answer is, you want demons to come into your life. Because you chanting things. You're not speaking in tongues. And we have to be very careful about that also. Tongues are not tongues of God. They are tongues of the devil. You are not to be practicing the song. The Bible say, tongue going to cease. Hey, glory to God. Amen. When the Holy Ghost come, it come with power. But do you have the power to resist the devil? Do you have the power to resist the witches? But what Paul say, oh foolish Galatian, who have bewitched you? So back in those times, witches was there. Like in our time, there's some church don't believe in witches. You know why? Because the witches are there. And they don't, they don't want to expose who they are. But I'm going to tell you, my friend, witches are on the choir. Witches are on the pulpit. Witches are ushers. Witches are deacons. Witches are ministers. I'm telling you, my friend, who have bewitched you? I remember a time when, when Paul was preaching and an old damsel was following Paul and crying out, telling, exposing Paul. And Paul turned around and rebuked the devil and rebuked the witch. And glory to God, old men came after Paul. 
I'm going to tell you, they're coming after me, but I'm not afraid of the witches. Hey, glory to God, because greater is living on the inside. Hey, glory. back. So back to the scripture. And you know, how Paul said, this is the, the one thing I have found out from you. Did you receive the, the spirit, which means the Holy Ghost, by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Don't go, go back to Judaism. Go back to hearing forth the word of God. Because faith come by hearing, hearing forth the word of God. There's a lot of people, my friend, that are in the church because they think the church is a social gathering. They think the church is a place you hook up to be hook up. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. The church is not a place to look for your mate. Hey, glory to God. Glory to God. But the church is a place where you come to get help from God. That's why I, 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 I leave my phone in my car. Because the devil is a slickster. The devil know when there's a word coming for you and then let somebody call you. He know the word coming from you and let somebody text you. Because the devil know that you come to church for a breakthrough, but he let the breakthrough pass you because you're so much in your cell phone. What I'm saying, I'm saying don't let nothing hinder you from hearing forth the word of God. Faith come by hearing, hearing forth the word of God. And the devil don't want you to hear the word. He wants you to stay bewitched. He wants you don't believe in witches. He wants you to believe the nice old lady across the hall. The nice old lady that sit beside you in church. The nice old lady, she's so nice. She made cakes for me. She, she made me the delicious dishes. And the food is so good. She is bewitching you, my friend. And we got to be, be, be aware of if God don't heal you, don't accept the witches healing. You hear me? If God does not heal you in his time, don't accept the witch's healing portion. Because once you accept it, my friend, you might as well become a witch too. Hey, glory to God. I remember when I used to be in this church called Baptized Believers. And it was just a witch. She would put dust on the pulpit. And every time the, the preacher would preach, we would cough. Hey, glory to God. Hey, glory to God. But... Back in those days, witches was not so much known, and a, and a pastor never preached about the, about the witches. Hey, glory! He preached about everything, but he never put the witch on the spot by telling that your portion is not working. And a witch is trying to poison me one time. And they were, I was pregnant with poison, but I'm so glad, my friend, that the portion. Didn't work. Hey, glory. How about glory to God? Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you, saints of God, we got the power. We got to use the power. The power come with the Holy Ghost. And if you have the Holy Ghost, the witch can scare you. The witch shouldn't be afraid of you. They should be afraid of you. You should not be afraid of the witch. The witch should not even come in your dream. So I'm telling you to tell you this in my closing. Who have bewitched you? That you should not obey the truth. And the Bible say, and ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make, not set. Now the virgin might say set, but if it's set, you can always unset it. But make is, is permanently assembled. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. So I'm telling you this, that and ye shall know. Know is wisdom. No is understanding. No is acknowledge the truth. And the truth is the word of God. Don't be fooled. The truth is not mythology. The truth, the truth is not Socrates or Pluto and all those Isis and all. No, the truth is the word of God. And the devil wants us to know everything but the truth. Paul, Paul, glory to God, say that, listen, am I your enemy because I tell you the truth? You're going to have a lot of enemies when you start telling the truth about the witches. I have a lot of enemies on YouTube. But uh, listen, my friend, I'm not preaching hate. I'm preaching love. I'm preaching deliverance. I'm preaching how to get free from the witch. And you shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Do you want to free? Jesus Christ said, I come to set the captive free. 
the captive free. That means if you have shackles on your feet, it's time for you to be free. If you're in jail cell, it's time for you to be free. If you've been in bondage, it's time for you to be free. If you're in generational curse, it's time for the curse to be broken.